All right, so I was cleaning out some old tackle boxes and I found this pretty beat up old Rapala and I was getting ready to toss it, but I think I'm gonna end up using this guy to practice the new airbrush. It's kind of beat up. I think it sat on the bottom of the boat for a while or something, but the paint's pretty rough. I thought about cleaning it up and just using it, but I noticed the bill was super loose. And actually, you know what? I can probably just pop it right out of there. But I think this is a good opportunity to try out the new airbrush. So I think I'm gonna sand it down, get it cleaned up, get the rings off of it and try painting it, see what I can do. Cool, bill's off, hooks are off. Let's start sanding it real quick. I don't really want to take too much of it off, so I'm just gonna hit it with some 800 to rough it up for the paint and maybe get some of that dirt cleaned off. It's all sanded down. Still kind of looks dirty, but I think it's just crud that's gotten under the clear coat, maybe. I don't know. Sanded through a little bit of the clear coat into the paint, but not too much. So I bought this guy on Amazon for maybe like 120 bucks, and I haven't used it. It's been sitting in the drawer of my toolbox for like three months, so gonna give it a shot kind of figure out how it works I've never used an airbrush before so this is gonna be me learning all right let's start off with some white I'll just do a base and then I'll color in after that I think I'm just gonna go full blast on this guy see what happens maybe just hold her down Definitely a lot better than a spray paint can though. All right, that actually wasn't that bad. I got a pretty good base of white going. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll start messing with some colors. Let's, call it. Let's go ahead and do some black along the back. Let's do just a little bit of red up under the gills. Um, since this is me learning how to use this thing, the airbrush, I'm not really going to get too fancy, but I did find this net sitting around with my fish stuff and I, I'm going to try to make some scales with it. I'm not fully committed to using the net only for this, so I'm not going to cut it apart yet. I'm just going to alligator clip it with everything in there, but I did see a guy do this on a YouTube video, so I think this is the right way to do it. Hell yeah. Try to get it all lined up so the scales are straight. So I'm just gonna put that on there, right there. Probably do one more on the back. So I want the scales to be kind of a dark green. So I'm gonna mix some green and some black. When I first did the white, I didn't really think about how much I'd be needing. And I filled like half of the little cup up with white. And I used maybe I don't know, 
a tenth of what I put in there. So I'm just going to do a few drops of green. I'm going to add a couple drops of black. And I'll mix it up and see if it's dark enough. I'll do I'll start with one drop. Because I have a feeling that black's going to darken it up pretty fast. Black and the green. Probably just looks black in the camera but it's definitely got quite a bit of green in it still so i'm gonna load that up in the airbrush and then i'm gonna paint this thing some scales so i guess the trick here is going to be not moving the scales while i'm painting it so i'm just going to set it up just like that and i'm just going to airbrush it i'm just going to airbrush it while it is propped that way I don't mess anything up. Again, this is just practice. This is the first time I use this thing. Green, I'm just gonna really lightly just hit it along the top. Kind of over the black. I think it's... side don't want to go too crazy on it cool so it's all dry just got a little bit of scaling still some white visible underneath Hit both sides. I think I'm gonna just paint an eye on there and call it good. It's not the prettiest lure I've ever seen, but it's good practice. Now let's try to add an eyeball. I'm just gonna dab some yellow paint. Real quick, just right on the spot. Oh, that actually worked pretty good. It's a pretty big drip though. So I'll let this side dry so it doesn't run, and then I'll hop over and do the other side. I don't think those are terrible. It's not a bad looking eye. Just go ahead and leave that. I'll add a little bit of black to the middle to give it a pupil, and then I'll clear coat it. Okay, let's add a little dab of black for the pupil. Not as round as I want, but it's okay. Okay, let that dry, and then I'll hit it with some clear coat. Put the bill back on, put the hooks back on, and that'll be it. All right, let's hit one more coat. All right, I'll let that one dry and that'll probably be it for clear coat. They went on pretty thick. The eyeball looks a little goofy, but whatever. So I've just got a two-part. There we go. Get that off of there. Stick the bill in. Just wipe off that excess. All right, let's let that epoxy harden up and I'll get the hooks back on. Uh, 
All right, so there it is all done. Hooks are back on it. Paint's finished. I got some red. Can't really see it, but there's a scale pattern along the top as well. I think I'll call it good. I think next time I'll work on the eyeball a little bit more and actually try to make a little template to spray through or maybe just take a little more time to paint it a little better, a little more round. But it doesn't look bad. It's not bad for a first try with an airbrush. I'm Adam. This is First Man Fishing. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.